My name is Gina. Of course, it's Flavors of Azerbaijan, and we are back this week again to tell you more on the happenings in Azerbaijan. So let's go hear the story. Azerbaijan, as we now know, is called the Land of Fire. There are so many histories and landmarks that actually tie them to this particular phrase land of fire okay so we are here at yana dak okay so today we've been looking at everything that makes azerbaijan the land of fire so um we've seen the fire temple yeah. and then Vilura has brought me to see the fire rock yes exactly the fire rock so the fire rock which is a uh, year 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 so centuries centuries, centuries yeah so the fire doesn't Turn off. The, the fire Please. doesn't turn off. Yeah, it natural, just keeps burning. That's natural uh, fire. Yeah. Because actually the ground is I think full of gas. The ground is full of gas, so it's yeah. just burning. Yeah. Okay. So I am I'm, I can I am looking at it right now, and I really don't understand how this works. The fire is just burning, and it's been burning for centuries like this. Yeah. Wow. Very, no? very very interesting and it's it's a wonder it's a wonder it's a wonder I, I'm, I'm quite warm yeah I'm quite warm maybe God knows that this place can be very cold so he just kept fire here for people to get warm this is cool so it just keeps burning this village is called Mahanmadi okay and it's been burning for so many years even when the rain falls the fire does not go off when the wind blows the fire does not go off the fire just keeps burning and by the time i inquired i was told that the fire actually was not there from time immemorial but it happened just one day when the shepherd took his sheep or lambs to the bush to find food and while he was there doing his thing i don't know what he did but somehow they sparked a fire and the mountain started burning and since then the mountain has not stopped burning for ages. Now one thing you should know also about Baku, Baku is called the land of the wind, fire and wind. So much wind like you can literally hear it, feel it. It's the noise all the time, yeah. And after seeing that, we decided to go see Dilora's younger sister who lives with a very, very beautiful mother in law. Her husband, her father in law also lives there. Oh my god, and she has very beautiful granddaughters. Yes, um, Dilora's sister's daughters are so cute. I enjoyed having them around, or I enjoyed being in their house because of um, they were that cute, like lovely baby girls. All right, foodaholics, we are in another village close to Baku called Mekdi Abad. And the pretty lady you see here is Bilura's younger sister. Yeah. Salam. Salam. Great. So um, we, we are here today to learn something new. Today we are here in her house where her beautiful mother-in-law. Can we see her? Yeah. Mama is going to show us how to make jam okay so we're about to make jam now she wants to show us the process uh, what fruit is this oh this is quince finally. Oh, finally i need quince oh, i've heard about quince leaves uh, do they have to cut it like this uh, yeah they have to do it. no you can even cut it straight oh, okay it's because of the knife they, they use shape, yeah. okay shape nice shape, yeah. okay so here we have to cut the uh, quince and as you see she added a water because quince is a bit um, tough. tough okay 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 
So just enough water to cover, cover yeah. or not even to cover it, just a little. So she can cook in this kind of enamel pot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we don't need to cover it. Uh, or smell wasn't no. Okay. I won't lie to you. Since yeah. I've been seeing the jam, the first thing I'm thinking in my head is, I really want to take the idea of jam back to Nigeria, Nigeria. and get a lot of women doing this. Why not? Yeah. So if either they are making jam for their homes or yeah. they can make jam to sell. Yeah. All right, guys. So um, the queen's fruit is boiling already. And uh, Mama is going to show us what will go in next. So we have one, uh, one point five uh, kg uh, of fruit fruits. Of fruits. Okay. Yeah. So we add one kg point five, exactly the same. The quantity same quantity. Of, uh, powder, powder sugar. Yeah, but if if you don't like sugar that much, can't you reduce it? You don't do it specially. You live yeah. in Africa. Yeah. And it's hot country. Yeah. Okay. Then you will not be able to keep more to than one it. month. To preserve it. To preserve it more, more than, than one month. month. One okay. month. Even not one week. Okay. Oh, more than one week. One week. When we do our jam in this way, when we cook our nurak pat in okay, this way, okay. then you can preserve it for one year, two years without keeping it in the fridge. Okay. 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 So this way, one year, two years, you don't have to keep it in the fridge. Yeah. It has to be boiled <laughs> now. Okay. okay. She has to um, reduce reduce uh, all uh, juice of meat, juice, the yeah. sugar also that it uh, the food has to take. Okay. The juice. Okay. okay. While we are waiting for the jam to be ready, um, Bilura's sister's mother-in-law is showing us some other things they do with fruits in Azerbaijan. Over here is tomatoes and cucumber that is pickling. And even some uh, um, peppers. Pepper. Yeah, some peppers pickling. Yes, I had to ask about compost because for every home I visited in Azerbaijan, rather than buying you mineral like we always do in Nigeria, they will serve you tea. And the next thing you'll see again is some kind of jar with lots of water but with fruits like almost whole fruits or maybe the fruit is divided into half or quarters inside here is a peach yeah and here is a cherry cherry okay you can okay. even mix all fruits together uh, you can so, mix more than one fruit yes, together you okay can do, make no problem. okay and here is three liters of water three liters of water and one kg of fruit okay okay peach and you add two glasses of Sugar. Two glasses of sugar, of sugar. into three liter. Yeah, and the glass. You mean this kind of glass? Yes, this kind of glass. Okay. okay. Yeah, and then uh, one and a half. Okay. One and a half. Okay. okay. Size on this size of uh, okay. glass. Okay. Okay. That should be like a yeah. cup and a half. And then you boil a little bit, just few minutes. Like how many minutes? Ten to fifteen minutes. minutes. Okay. You boil it. Okay. And then you add here. You pour it into the no, jar. Yeah. Okay, and then you add here, and then you just close it. Okay. In this way. Okay. Because in this case, if you close it in this way, then you can keep it for one year. You can keep it for one year. Yeah. Okay. Whenever you want, then you open it. You just you know, drink. Drink it. Okay. 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 Yeah. Then and you put it in a it pot. Upside down like that. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. So you keep it upside down in this way, and then we have to close it with towel, uh, hot, hot towel. Yeah. Hot okay. Towel, but then uh, your tomato, your uh, vegetables. So you don't you don't boil it anymore. No. Okay. So where are the cups? Let's start tasting. It's a good it's a good way to preserve fruit. Fruit. So we are actually. Too much, uh, yeah. It's just cool, it's not it's not sweet and it's very peachy. very peachy. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm gonna to try to do all of these things. Uh, I'll try and seal as well and see how long I can. I can keep it. And um yeah, grandma showed me all the tricks of making a wonderful jam. One of them being that even while the jam is boiling, you have to sieve out the foam from the jam so that your jam can be very, very clean. So once it looks like a syrup, yeah. it looks like a syrup, you know it's ready. 
Okay. Yeah. And she adds also, also uh, is, um, so lemon, lemon, salt. yeah, lemon salt. A yeah. little bit. A little oh, bit of it. Reserves the color of it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So once it's cold, we put it in the, that bottle. Yeah. 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 That bottle, and then you just close it. Close again. it again. You seal it again if you want. So I'm tasting the jam we just made. It's a good one. Yeah. It's a good one. I, I found compote very fascinating because one thing I thought of when I looked at the jam and compote was my fellow Nigerian women. Yes, you can be a stay at home mom and learn how to make this jam when you are watching right now and compote and begin to sell. That is the reason why I'm doing this particular episode. You can earn money from making jams at home. You can earn money from making compote at home. Now, if you even do not want to earn, you can make jam for your children at home. With compote, you can regulate the amount of sugar you actually want to give to your children. So let's quickly get our recipes done. Recipe for today, I'll be making shepherd pie. In honor of that shepherd that set the fire in that mountain, shepherd's pie and compote. Oh, <laughs> oh,